Hi everyone, this is Rashi Moga and welcome again to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you five mindfulness techniques or exercises that you can use to reduce your stress and your anxiety and be more productive. Now, as many of you know, I'm big on mindfulness. In my previous videos, I have shared with you the impact that it has had on my leadership style and my life. Now, most people think that meditation is the only way to practice mindfulness. And in my personal experience, meditation can be really hard. It's very hard to keep your mind focused on your breath, especially when you're just starting, or it can be very frustrating when your mind keeps wavering. So for me, I had to go about and find alternative techniques that could still keep me grounded, that could still give me the benefits of meditation without really having to focus on my breath. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Our days are overloaded and it can be so hard sometimes to carve out time in a quiet place to just focus on your breath and not have your mind waver. And these alternative techniques really come in handy to reduce the stress and anxiety. So let's get started. The first technique that I have for you is coloring. Yes, the adult coloring books that now seem to be a trend, they actually have science behind them. Research shows that coloring abstract designs such as a mandala or a plate can help reduce anxiety. Now, interestingly enough, the same benefits are not seen when you use free flow coloring or free form coloring. And why is that so? Because Really, if you start thinking about it, if anxiety is a type of chaos, right? It seems like an activity like coloring in a pre-structured, predetermined form and complex structure will bring some method to that madness, would help organize that inner chaos. So next time, if you pick up a book, coloring book, don't think about it as just a new trend. Think about it from a perspective of how it can help you bring mindfulness and ground you and help you reduce your anxiety and stress. The next technique that I have for you is playing music. Playing music is another research-backed idea. Now, a group drumming initiative, there was a study that was done with a group drumming initiative, and it resulted in significant reduction in anxiety and depression along with the increase in the overall mental well-being. Now, I, like many other people, have found just listening to music being therapeutic. And there have been many times when I've leveraged it to reduce my anxiety, uplift my mood, and think positive. So next time when you think about music therapy, know that it's real. It helps you reduce your anxiety. And it just brings in that feeling of positivity. Now, it's also important what kind of music do you choose. I typically tend to choose peppy music when I need to uplift my, uh, my spirits. But there are times when I would listen to, to more mellow music to reduce my anxiety. So as you start thinking about which music are you going to use to, uh, to reduce your anxiety, my suggestion is to pick up something that will um, that will mellow you down a little bit. And if you're feeling low, pick up peppy music so that it can make you feel more positive and going. Now, the third technique that I'm going to talk to you about is cooking. Now, before I talk about this, I want to mention that not all meditation techniques work for everyone. So while cooking can be stressful for many, I actually find it healing and calming. I get in my own zone when I cook. Not baking, because baking stresses me out. Having to measure something and follow a recipe really stresses me out. I'm more of a free flow person. So cooking gets me in that zone. It grounds me. I have new creative ideas bubbling in my head as I start cooking. And um, there's an unsaid rule in my house that when I cook, nobody else talks to me, nobody else speaks with me. And that's because I'm in that zone. I am unwinding, I'm relaxing, I'm giving a break to my brain, but also my creative brain is kicking in and I'm thinking about all great ideas in my head. 
So I get in my real zone at that time when I'm cooking and I really use it to reduce, re to reduce my stress and anxiety. And I also use it to think about new ideas. So if cooking works for you, I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing. If it doesn't work for you, skip this technique and move on to the next one. The next technique that I have for you is walking. Take a break, go for a walk. We've all heard this from our moms. Well, there's a reason behind that. Benefits of mindful walking include stress reduction and improved cognition, in addition to many, many health benefits that the physical activity provides. One great technique that I have learned from one of my coaches is to practice, um, practice letting go during walking. What does that mean? So as you're walking, think about what are you going to let go of today? It can be a grudge that you have been holding for a long, long time with a loved one, or it could have been an imposter syndrome that you're dealing with. It can be anything. But as you're walking, think about what you can let go of. It's a very powerful technique that I have noticed, and it really helps me stay grounded, reduces my anxiety, and just changes my perspective towards life. And the last technique that I'm going to share with you, which happens to be my favorite technique, is gazing in the sky. Yes, sky gazing. You heard it right. So when I was growing up as a kid in India, my favorite pastime used to be going to the roof, lying down and looking at the sky and just continue gazing at the clouds. I would see the clouds float by and it will bring in a certain amount of calmness in me. This still continues to be my favorite way to reduce my stress and anxiety. If I'm stressed on a particular day, you will often see me on a blanket in my backyard looking at the sky. That's the best way to let go and kind of feel the movement in nature. I sometimes focus on a cloud that's slowly moving in the sky, or I focus on a bird that's flying in the sky and just follow that movement. And there is so much calm that I experience in that movement that it's amazing. So I hope you give these alternative meditation techniques a try. Please let me know if these techniques help you manage your anxiety. Uh, better and help you be more productive. All the best and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.